Hello and welcome to another episode of Minus of the Nexus. Welcome back. Hello. So, Dan Gonzo has been busy this week. He's made about 50 different types of boats. <laughs> not, not so many. Um, I tried my hand out at making one, that one over there, the red and black one. And What's it called? That one? Yeah. The Jolly Lion Dog <laughs> Sheep thing. With fangs. With fangs. Um, so yeah, then Gonzo's been doing all sorts of different types of boats. Little smuggling boat over there. So today what we're going to do is a couple of things. Um, Tengonzo and Tapion are going to be building the warehouse, which is the final bit of our um, of our docks. And me and Rastral are going to be building a replica of that ship I did over there. Using a program that I downloaded called Schematic to Blueprint. So basically you have this program called MC Edit, And you can export schematics of things you build. And with this program, it gives you a layer-by-layer layer, um, image of the of the thing you want to build. So if you ever want to recreate something and have the blueprints, this is a perfect program. So I'll put a link to that, and we can start now if you like. Um, then, guys, do you want to explain a bit what the warehouse, the purpose of a warehouse is? It's kind of self-explanatory. A warehouse is a warehouse. Right. But yeah. Well, we decided to build it here near the docks because it's going to be a warehouse for the whole of the town. Uh, you see, it's going to be, it's going to be available for the, for the uh, sh um, maritime uh, transport and also for the train station. It's going to be linked with the train station as well. So all the merchandise coming to town will come to this big warehouse, and then it would be distributed. Basically, that's that's it. Yeah. So it's a joint warehouse for both the train station that we've built already and the docks. That's correct. So I'm laying out here the what is the plan of the boat, the the section that is um, at sea level. You just make a pillar like this of any material to actually take it up to the top to the top layer, and you line it up here with the with the water. Um, we're building our ship here next to the to the storerooms to the warehouse. Um, so you can see what they're doing as well and well you can make it as long as you like as tall as you like I'm just gonna be popping up images of that ship over there the red and black ship but we're gonna be modifying the materials and the lengths and stuff just to it's not gonna be exactly the same so where do you think we should put the the tail at the front end uh, what what do you call the front the stern the, stern, the hull the hull the stern the stern is the front of the boat, right? Yeah. The bow is the bow. Oh, the bow. The nose of the boat. So we'll put the <laughs> nose here. The nose of the boat. <laughs> Boats don't have noses. Well, I'm sure some do. This boat is going to have a nose. It's decided. So that's the the first level of the boat. Well, actually, that's the first level from, from the water. There's actually a few more levels underneath this, which would be the... the what do you call the bit under the boat? The fin? Hull. The hull. <laughs> the belly. <laughs> I'm not very good at nautical like terminology. It's the belly of the boat. The belly. So you got the nose and the belly. <laughs> <laughs> the way. Uh, any more body parts? Yeah. What do you call the, the part at the bottom? The long one? It's called the, the leg, of course. Third leg. The third leg. What would you call the rudder of the boat? The, the, the rudder? The, yeah. The we we'll call it the rabbit. The us. The the bunghole. Okay. Any anyone got any stories to share whilst I figure out what I have to do next? Well, Probably not about bungholes. Yeah. Well I don't know if the guy was a bunghole, but I saw the other day I was working. You know. I was working. You yeah. know. Working the road, the streets. Yeah. I was working and when I worked as a like well, I work up a rock, basically up a. He works on a big rock. <laughs> yeah, it's a, bit, it's, it's a bit hard to explain. It's a geologist. It. Yeah, I work on a rock, basically, a big rock, rock of Gibraltar, and I saw this guy uh, cycling up one of the, a steep hill, one of the steepest hills, and 
it's pretty normal, but the guy had only one leg, so <laughs> quite a shock. So how exactly was he cycling with only one leg? Was he on a unicycle? No, he was on a bicycle, but just cycling on one leg, with one leg. He didn't have a, a fake leg or anything, he just used one leg to cycle. <laughs> fake leg? <laughs> Yeah, fake leg. Yeah, fake leg. <laughs> <laughs> the same, the same thing. Yeah, sure it is. Um, so thing is, I saw him because you know we have this policy where disabled people don't sort of pay. So I sort of said, okay, carry on going through. But then the wife, um, the wife was coming on behind, after him, and the guy, one of the guys there, stopped the wife. So the wife called him so he had to stop <laughs> <laughs> he had to stop on the hill and it sort of was a bit awkward <laughs> it was like hopping on one leg it's probably not something to laugh about but okay no it was just well, awkward so it's, it's funny you yeah know? it's funny because it's awkward i think i don't think he would be amused no i don't think he'd be amused either uh, i think he'd be very amused it's for him i suppose it's something normal not living with a leg so it wouldn't be amusing it would just be normal yeah like Okay, we come round yep. here, just to explain more or less what we're doing here. You see Ooh, the type, the pretty. type of, the type of roof we're building here. I've observed because I like to take uh, example from real life that store houses usually have uh, like a, a light opening at the top to give natural light, which would save a lot of money in electricity bills. So that's why I've built this one with a with a light uh, skylight, as it were. So this is the, the, sh the shape it will it will take. It will be very high, so we can stock up here. We can st we can store all type of of uh, equipment and trees and stuff inside. You could probably put one of those ships in here. She definitely could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Several. Well, we could always have a hangar here for ships as well. <laughs> yeah. All right. Back to work. Well, we don't use electricity in this. Well, world, so or, or ca candles and candles. Can well, so candle? how are the beacons on the detached small working without electricity? They got like a like a pig at the bottom running on a on one of those wheel things. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's called kinetic energy. Right, kinetic energy. On that's one a, of those wheels. That's a prolip right there. That's a prolip right there. Kinetic energy. Prodip? Prodip. Prodip. Oh. Prodip. Pro That's one of those. That's a dong gong prodip right there. Gotta put the seal of gold, the one you use for the pro tips. Yep. How's that, how's that a pro tip? Getting no, a that's pig? Not, that's not a pro tip. You that's can it. use pigs to get electricity. No. That's your. You're, that's you're confusing our viewers. You're, you're a, giving false statements. Okay, then you can do a new sign and call it a false pro tip. No, no. We're just not gonna. A bazinga. Okay, so I'm replacing the red blocks you see on the screen with uh, blue block, blue block, blue blocks, blue blocks, blue blocks, blue blocks, blue blocks, blue berries, blocks, blue blocks, blue blocks. Um, yeah, just to make it different, you can modify these plans however you like. So it's always as you go building the ship up, you just make this part, the hull, you make it, um, you make it go out one block. Like this. Didn't we agree it was gonna call the be gonna be called the belly? The belly. I mean the belly. Sorry, sorry. I'm I'm not very good at remembering nautical terms. So the belly it's will it's always be one up. Okay. Okay. So the if hull. Like that would be the hull. The incredible hull. <laughs> the incredible hull. Now if this layer. Oh, hull Hogan. Hal Hogan, yeah, that's also a good one. Good Hal story there. And this end bit here, the back back part, you could say, you could call it. Um, the bum bum. The bum bum. The bum bum. The bow. The bow. The rear end. The bottom. Stop and, and port. Part. Starboard. Starboard. And port side. Okay, so if you look at it from top view, it's a lot easier to work. Basically, it just has to... The whole rim, the whole round bit here, has to overlap once all the way up. So when you do the next layer, and we're going to use a blue block, 
a a blue block. <laughs> a, b a blue block. Uh, We're gonna use a blue block here, um, to give it a little like line. I'm not sure if that's exactly how I had it in the other one, but if you if you st if you build one um, block out the whole way round, you shouldn't have a problem. All ships are different; they all look they all look different. So you don't don't worry if you don't stick entirely by the plan. It's just the way it goes. That little yes. thing here is sorry. This little thing here is meant to be the the head of the dragon there, or the lion, or whatever you want to use. So you can just modify that as you go along. We're still trying to determine what it is. The one, the red, the red one. This is it's lion, uh, dragon, bear, sheep, sheep dog, sheep dog, a bear Jew. Sheep dog. What do you mean, sheep dog? <laughs> a, <laughs> a, sh a sheep. Dog or <laughs> a sheep dog? Not, not a shit dog, a ship ship dog. Not a ship, ship. dog. A sheep dog. Yeah, a sheep dog. It's a it's a cross between a sheep and a dog or, or one of those dogs that looks after the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not quite sure anymore. Just it's just a dog that looks like a sheep. Okay. Now here the top bit I'm gonna use dark wood to make it look like a different colour from the rest of the ship. Let's see how that looks. And this should be the layer. I think this is yeah. This is the. Hold on. Yeah, this is the layer that actually um, is the floor of the boat. The you could call it the the back, the stomach, the the no, under stomach. No, <laughs> what could you call it? The floor, the deck, the deck. That's the word. <laughs> Not that great. I hope the really. chest. You could call it the chest. I, I chest. hope you, no, no the bosom, sailor. The, the bosom. I, I hope that we don't have any <laughs> sailors watching this video. It'll probably be quite painful for sailors, for oh. actual sailors. Let's call it the bosom. Let's call it the bosom. So, the I bosom of the ship. We have no, no pirates watching. Because, <laughs> you know, the pirates. Well, I'm sure pirates made up names for ship parts all the time. I don't think they were the most educated bunch. So I think this part you've changed as well, not because this part was wool, blue wool or red wool on your plan. What part? Like the, the front part. Well, because that's the dragon's head, the the thingamajig's head, there. So we can add that later. Just just make it come to a point. Yeah, but this part, I mean this this here. I just broke. You see? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can we can modify that. Okay. Instead of trying to box into you know, box that creature into another living creature. Why don't you just make it your own, your own mythological creature? So it's a sheepdog mixed with a lion. Okay, a sheepdog mixed with a lion. Let let me get closer so I can analyze it. You you go building that bit for us. So on the same layer then, yeah, like what I'm doing. Yeah, on the same layer. So this definitely it, it's to start off. It's a redhead. So it's a redhead sheepdog. It's got grey eyes and it's got horns here. So that makes it part uh, sheep, not sheep, part deer. It's got fangs, so it's part uh, saber tooth tiger. <laughs> um, and part sheepdog because of the fluffy mane. So then you mean you mean to tell me that a sheepdog, a saber tooth tiger, and a what? A so so a red. Head, red haired sheep dog. A red haired sheep dog. A saber tooth tiger. A saber tooth tiger. And what else? And a deer. And a deer. And it's well, also a unicorn, I think. It's also got like a like a long horn there. So part so unicorn as well. All these things were having an orgy. I don't think and suddenly. I don't think biology works that way though. I think no. it just happens during the ages. Like his great great grandfather was a, sh a red headed sheep dog and. You know, it just went on from so, there. So this creature took out the best, the best bits. Yeah, the best of both worlds. 
So at this point now, we're actually um, not even using the plans that I had. So I'm going to get my uh, plans and put them aside here. Because the rest of the ship, now it's up to you how you make it look. The important part is the hull here, down here, which has to look hulled, hull-shaped. Oh, and the bottom bit, which I haven't actually done here. The belly, the belly. The Not the belly, the, the finlage. The finlage. Yeah, but, but you said the hull again. The, the mixing, stern, the you're stern. You're mixing our viewers. The, the, the Nebraskals. These the things here. The bollows. The bollies. The, bolo the, bo the bollards. The bowels. The bullions. The bullions. So this bit here, this bit here is like the rudder, I guess. I don't know what it's what it is. It's something. Yeah, the spiky it's bit. The rudder. The upside down shark fin thing. Yeah, the bollards. That's the keel. The keel, aye, that's the word. That's a scroat, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay. So there no, we have our ship. When you see place. Sorry. Sorry, what were you Sorry. saying? If you look if you look at the keel sideways, it looks like what the male bulls have hanging underneath the legs. The, the, the balls. Testicles? Yeah, no, That's but not the scrotum. balls. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a scrotum or something, but it's uh, <laughs> scrotum is the balls. Yeah, all right. Um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not they're not the balls they got it's not like the penis i think it's a penis case <laughs> the penis case <laughs> just for the record here i didn't start this conversation off cuz you're always accusing me of talking about penises can we edit that bit out though no it's, no that's, that's definitely going in because then they, they'll accuse me of talking about penises all the time so no but you know what going. i mean no you can photoshop in a bull and show, show no i don't want to photoshop any <laughs> testicles like the area no <laughs> i like don't the so, so that viewers can see what i'm talking about i am about. not photoshopping Looks anything testicle related no okay assembles it quite a bit let's carry on with this bit where are we going to start the the back part of the ship the bottom the you know the hump the hump the hump that's the, the hump <laughs> the hump where the there, there. Where the cap captain captain lives. Is that okay for the Yeah. That looks. So then you can you can choose to you can decide on the height of your hump or the captain's quarters or whatever you want to call it. You can decide on the height. Can we go this away? hump area, do we want to have a double hump hump humple humper? Yeah, I like I like the double hump. Like you I, I like the forecastle and the and the lower deck and then the the main deck. What what are you talking it's about? Better. Don't don't use all that like voodoo language on me. All that jargon. Don't use all that jargon. We're yeah, talking well, about humps here. Yeah. You're, you're gonna have three decks: the main deck and then two two smaller decks. Oh, one with the wheels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <One with, laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? What's up? Yeah. My, yeah. My mind. Are you sure you wanna? The, the wheel. The wheel deck. Stand on it. The wheel deck, where you, where the wheel is gonna be, where the, the wheel, the wheelie, the wheel is gonna be. Okay, we okay. get it, we get it, we you get it. Go back to it. your warehouse. Okay, yes, you yes, ugly York. Yes, put it in, putting you in the, in the loop. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is probably where one of the humperdinks will end. There is that enough space here? Bit further back, I'd say here. But obviously. Hold on, let me just mark out the door here. So it's going to have to be one taller, or else the door isn't going to fit there. It needs to be at least two. Shh. Leave those boys doing their thing. Gosh. Leave the boys alone. There. You damn boys alone. You meddling orc. Okay, so here the stairs will go. So you just cut a little notch there at the top, like that. Not the notch that made the game. Not not that notch, just like a little not, jig not, jigger. Not to be confused with the fatty notch. Don't call him fatty notch. Sheesh. <laughs> you just call him fatty notch? Fatty notch. Oh my you god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe he just went there. You don't call notch fat. I haven't called him fat. I call him fatty. Don't call That's him fatty. endearing. It's not endearing. It's Sheesh. Sheesh. No respect towards Notch. None whatsoever. 
So we're just going to do some hoisted sails in this boat here. So obviously it's on the dock, dock side. Also back here, you know how some boats have that little window thing? Little window thing. Mm. The little window thing, that sort of the thing. Po the, the potholes. Not the potholes, the, the little window thing. I hear... Uh, whoa. That was quite realistic. Realistic, yeah. Did you hear those seagulls I, I, coming you, into You dock? can hear the seagulls at my window. <laughs> <laughs> the window's open, so... It's quite warm today here. Yeah, it's quite a warm, warm winter's day. Yeah. It's been freezing lately, but not today. So okay, I have a problem. I need the master electrician ASAP. What have you broken? I haven't broken anything, but I just can't figure out how to do this. Oh, we should do building here. You're trying to build a big door, are you? No, not a big door. I was trying to build a big wench. A uh, big <laughs> light. <laughs> 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 a big wench. Yeah. What, big as in tall or big as in fat? Big fat wench. <laughs> like not then. Oh man. First you call him fat, <laughs> then now you call him a wench. <laughs> You're gonna get kicked banned out of Minecraft for life. So guys, Rastron might not be with us next week. <laughs> So we're going to do a sort of mechanical system because there's going to be a big door over here. But uh, I'll show you why we're going to do a mechanical system. So the whole city, the whole town is on one level and then we've got the piers on another level and then this warehouse is closer to the water. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you come around the back here You'll see why we want to make a me mechanic, mechanical system. So we'll break all of this off. So we're going to do a double lift mechanism. So when you come off the ship, or you've got, um, you know, you've got crates, you come off the ship, then you'll come on to these mechanics, and it'll make it easier to take stuff into the warehouse, in and out. In that case. We're going to use some uh, pistons here yep. to make the actual lift. We're going to have four pistons yep. on that level. So now we're going to give a little pro tip. When you're using red wiring, you want to set up the red wiring? Yeah. Yeah. If, uh, if you're going to control it with a switch, keep the switch on all the time, and then you can see where your wiring is going. Just in case you run out of power, you you need to have a repeater or something. You you can see your progress pretty clearly. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna need wiring up to here, which will cover our four pistons, and we're gonna use some repeaters so that we don't get any not that one, any cross. So you've got our first one there, two, and four. It's important that you keep about two spaces because the other set of uh, pistons is going to have one higher, but you need a space between one between one piston and the other for your wiring. So if we switch it off now, yeah, I'll we, can get on. we can get on with the... Okay. So the other set of pistons are going to come at this level. Is that correct? Yep, yeah, but this has to be wood. Right, it doesn't matter at the moment. Okay, I'm going to have the switch somewhere on this side, same more or less the same position as before. Yep. So again, switch it on, and we get the we get a signal there. Yep. We're happy with that, and we're going to bring it at another level, like we were saying before. We need to have it the same thing, but what's that? Okay. Alright, you remove the pistons. Now oh, you put another set of pistons there. What's that for? Because <laughs> we need to put the pistons there. They're already there. Oh. Oh, yeah. I see. Oops, my bad. <laughs> okay. I'll forgive you that time. <laughs> I didn't even see you do that. I didn't. Must. I didn't. That was weird. And we have liftoff. So now what we have is uh, 
system where by when that they're both down. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just finish it up before you ex show the actual thing working. Okay. Stickler for detail. Well, it w wouldn't work if you did it the other way. All right. So right. you are the one that's carrying a crate. And I've got a crate. It's very heavy, and this is very high. Can you please? Yes. Yes, good sir. Now he goes on to the next one. Lift it up, and he's in with no effort whatsoever. Um, I'm also going to make the the steering thingamajig. That's the technical name there. Steering thingamajig. Or the rudder. No, not the rudder. What's the name of the steering thingamajig? The wheel. The wheel. The stern. The hubble. 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 Dink. Humble dink. I always add a trapdoor to the mix just to make it look slightly different. So that's the. How does that look? Looks good. Does that do anything to it? Yeah, I think so. So that's that. Now, now we're just doing the little finer details of this boat, adding torches and crap. It's pretty much finished. Um, if we go down here, this is something that then Gonzo taught me when he was doing his ships. But if you add um, trapdoors like this, it just gives it a nice look when it's all closed. Especially, you don't accidentally fall. yeah, you don't accidentally fall in. Especially with the original texture pack, it actually looks nicer because it's got the holes. So now what I'm gonna do is down here we're gonna put little potholes, portholes, sorry, not potholes. Um, and I spaced them three apart in my other ship. So if you leave three spaces and you place a block, whoops. So three spaces and a block. Um, no, sorry. Three spaces and a hole. There we go. Three spaces and a hole. Three spaces and a hole. Three spaces and a hole. And just do that all the way across. Okay, and then next to each hole you put a a block of wool like this. Then, I, I, what I did was in the gaps that have no windows, I put torches. This looks pretty nice and it also lights up the, the below deck area. And then finally, in the holes, you place uh, a window pane. What's that? What's that knocking about? What's all that ruckus? So if, I, if you look at it from the outside bit, you see, looks quite pothole, not pot, port, <coughs> port hole like. Then up here on these windows, you can actually add some trapdoors as well. I just love me trapdoors. Pretty cool. And that's it. That's pretty much the ship. The the ship done. Just add some chests, some some beds in the captain's quarters and all that. Yep, you guys so can. Shippy. Yep, you guys can um, decorate it however you see fit. If you have the ship coming into port, you can have the the sails down like this. If you have it stopped, you can have the sails up like that. They look a lot more impressive if you do them like this. But obviously, when it's in the port, it doesn't look good. Um, also some anchors I did was just steps like this you can add those there so yeah that's the ship done hope you enjoyed that so that's the end of that we've built the warehouse and a basic ship um, the good thing about this ship is that it's just a basic pattern you can modify it and edit it as you like you can add a figurehead at the at the front you can make a sheep, cow, zebra, if you want, for the figurehead. Um, yeah, so ho I hope that was useful for you guys. And where's Tapion, by the way?
Hey, look up here. I was just checking out the view. All right. Wait, I'll just come down. Careful not this, to fall. Yes, this is a bit risque, I have to say. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what a right. what a Nancy pirate you are. All good. It's all good. <laughs> okay, so that is that. We shall see you guys again. Oh, why can't I fly? Fly. We shall see you guys again next week. Hope you enjoyed that. Goodbye. See you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.